And finally, from De Niro's massive mole to Bill Murray's gnarly neck to Lucy's luscious lips, the hugely talented Tampa artist David O'Keefe's got a thing for pop culture and the oddities that make it unique. If he sculpts that mole, he'll make it big. And Harry, if he paints those lips, they'll be big and blazing. And if they're your lips and your moles, your reaction will vary depending upon your sense of humor. But you gotta hand it to the artist at hand, at least he paints them the way he sees them. Welcome to the weird, weird, weird world of one David O'Keefe. From politics to pop music to television and film, the 47-year-old Tampa artist wallows in a goulash of pop culture influences, creating visions that take his subjects, expose their defining minutia, and blow him up like a dirigible. I mean, seriously stretch each mole, freckle, forehead wrinkle, and chin cleft to Gadzook's proportions. But mostly, I think the thing I try to capture is a personality. So when I'm able to, like, instead of looking at photos, I rather uh, look at video and see how that person moves and the mannerisms than try to capture that personality. Here's Sir Elton John replete with gap-toothed grin looking appropriately regal ensconced in the lap of luxury. Don't know if this O'Keefe original would make her happy. Cheryl Crow's looking kind of slim and anxious with three birds, or er, crows, peering down from a wire behind her. As you may have guessed, O'Keefe's a music lover, in particular a Beatles fan. And I wanted to capture both the later 69 Beatles when they were doing the Abbey Road and what they look like, because they you know, totally changed from the 65 Yeah, Yeah, Yeah Beatles. And so I did a black and white version of the, black, of the 65 Beatles. There's finally peace and harmony in the Van Halen camp for a change as warring frontmen Sammy Hagar and David Lee Roth embrace with a toothy grin. Robert Plant looks a little dazed and confused as he stares into the abyss, the whole affair going down like a Led Zeppelin. The Dixie Chicks hold country court with dour expressions in an Adams Family-esque pose as Natalie Maine's big, make that huge mouth, anchors the painting center. For Simon and Garfunkel, theirs are the sounds of silence, yet you could land a jumbo jet on Art's forehead, don't you think? From music to movies, an Apollo 13-era Tom Hanks looking slim and trim gazes to the heavens. A moleful Robert De Niro looks like he's been clocked in the temple with a toaster oven, and for good reason. This is um, from around right after Raging Bull, and uh, where he's at his peak as an actor, and uh, hasn't quite, you know, got into those mob movies yet. But he's he's um, he's mean, and he's that he's in that character mode. This isn't the Robert De Niro person. This is the Robert De Niro character. Bob Hope's got a ski slope nose and a little something else below that lower lip. You obviously were thinking chin, too. I, I think of chins, I think of Bob Hope. A Caddyshack era Bill Murray looks more like an upright elephant's trunk with seasick peepers. Big forehead, big tall forehead, kind of, kind of wobbly eyes, but a thrusting long neck. Right, every time uh, you see those long shots of him and you just can pick Bill Murray out of a crowd because he's just got such a long neck, almost giraffe-like neck. This is uh, Outlaw Josie Wales era Clint Eastwood and uh, this is where I like all the spaghetti westerns but just that scowl and that attitude. Yeah, he's, he's angry and he's also uh, just, you know, kind of uh, condescending, I guess. His next victim, you know. The eyes have it, at least in David O'Keefe's rendition of The Lucy Show. Right, and it's just that, you know, oh, I did it, you know, what are you going to do? And it's framed by our hands. And what's Fred thinking here? <laughs> He's not happy. <laughs> He's never happy. Fred's never happy, is he? No. <laughs> An angular Nicole Kidman's nose is sharp enough to cut meat. Yeah, Nicole here is uh, just skinny. I've never seen her gain any weight at all for all the years <laughs> she's been doing movies. And uh, it took get a her a cheese sandwich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here's some protein. Hard not to notice, Miss Jessica Simpson. And all I can say is cleavage. <laughs> cleavage is that, right? Cleavage and a lot of it. <laughs>
But every artist has his or her masterwork. And for one David O'Keefe, it's the gathering of organized crime's most celebrated family in The Godfather. All anchored by Marlon Brando's legendary feedback cheeks. First, I had to watch this movie like a hundred times to <laughs> really capture all of the little, uh, what their role was in the family. And the piece de resistance, the cherub laden frame. And I wanted to have the cherubs with machine guns and kind of a little sinister uh, twist to them since the family is sinister to begin with. They're wicked looking cherubs and there's something I hope to uh, never encounter in the afterlife. <laughs> And if you have to ask how much The Godfather is going for, well, then as the old saying goes, you just can't afford it.